it's for me. Weird. Who knows I'm here? There's no address on this invitation or on the matchbook I have from the club. I need to figure out where I'm going tonight. Assuming I can go. I won this coin by nailing Sea Railer Swole. It has two landmarks on it, British Museum and Buckingham Palace. These London landmarks may have something to do with the club's location. I should compare them to the map. Yeah, I think those famous locations on the coin should help me. Okay, now I know that the Daedalus Club is in that area, but it's still a huge zone to search. There's just gotta be some way for me to narrow it down. That's it! I'm sure that's where the Daedalus Club is. Dr. Stiles? Yes? I've thought of a way to prove whether or not the incidents on campus are being rigged. Oh? If we change the time of the experiment, say move it up to 3 p.m., and change the place where it's supposed to occur, then it would be impossible for anyone to rig something up in time. Good idea. Really? It shouldn't matter to the experiment, so why not? But we'll have to think of a new location and exercise, and you'll need to notify the students about the time change. No problem. Angela started Oxford in September 2002, but she seems pretty immature for her age. Her room is very... pink. Pink. She doesn't have many friends, according to her roommate, and her father died in a... accident. I get the feeling she's a little backwards. Do you want my opinion? No. Okay. I looked into Helena's background. She started Oxford this year, but she could have been around long before that. I found a theater program in her room dated October 2002. October? Yeah. Also, I think she may have a drug problem. I found a syringe and bottles in her room. Could there have been a prescription? Maybe a suppressant or... She's young and healthy. Why would she need a prescription? She's obviously rich and a party girl. So because she's rich, she must be completely lacking in judgment. Never mind. Fact. She had a bottle and syringe in her room. I'll leave my opinion out of it. Good idea. For tonight's experiment, what about using this? It's a discus and we could use Horsepath Track as a location. No one would expect us to go back there. Mm, it's very tactile. Should make for a good visualization. All right, Sam. Great. Samantha, I was looking for you earlier. You must have some new gossip on our fellow lambs by now. Well, uh, I was calling to confirm that the experiment is still like planned for tonight. Hmm. You didn't investigate further? Then again, I haven't heard of any incident related to last night's session. So maybe everything's okay? We'll discuss that later. Gotta go! Hi! 
Hi, Sam. Hey. What's going on? Dr. Stiles changed the time for tonight's session. It's been moved up to three this afternoon. Can you all make it? I'm free. Oh, I have a class, but I can miss it. Charles? In for a penny, in for a pound, my mum always says. Yeah, I can be there. I'm gonna meet Harvey later, want me to tell him? Yeah, thanks. What about Helena? Oh, I already talked to her. It's cool. See you soon, guys. Bye, Sam. See you. Yeah, uh, bye. It's just not possible to have all of you in the same room at the same time. Where's Helena? Oh, um, she had a conflict. Due to the time change and everything. It would have been nice to have known that several hours ago, wouldn't it? I heard a wonderful poem in class today. I thought you all might like to hear it. Shall I strew on thee rose or rue or laurel, brother, on this that was the veil of thee? or quiet sea flower moulded by the sea, or simplest growth of meadow, sweet or sorrel, such as the summer sleepy dryads weave, waked up by snow soft sudden rains at eve. Sam, you know the rest of it. You must be in the lit department. Charles Swinburne is a favourite at St Edmunds. Of course I know Swinburne. A bit flowery for my taste. If you know it, then finish it for us. You do know it. For thee, O oh now a silent soul, my brother, take at my hands this garland and farewell. Thin is the leaf and chill the wintry smell. Content thee, howsoe'er, whose days are gone. There lies not any troublous thing before, nor sight nor sound to war against thee more. For whom all winds are quiet as the sun, all waters as the shore. I bet my mum would like it. Now that we've been regaled with Swinburne, let's get started. Shall we? Pass that around. This is what we'll be visualizing today. Thank you.